Alright, uh, Mickey Wilson, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft here. Uh, we're going to do a couple of videos, a series of videos here on, on working hides. Um, it's something that's very useful knowledge to have. Uh, this, you know, your bushcrafting skills can go right along with this. Um, this right here, today we're going to do raw hide. I have a piece that I've been soaking in the creek for quite a while now and uh, it should be about ready to go. But uh, this right here, this stick we made here, this is a, what you use, pushed fur off, okay. To work a hide, this is a good kit. Okay, draw knife, if you've ever looked at one, they have two sides to them, sharp side, dull side. Pioneers believe more, more use is one item. Okay. This side, the sharp side, would be using for milling, working your lumber and your bark. This duller side right here, how that's beveled, is for, I use it for flushing hides. Okay. My pocket knife, I will have that with me. That's, you know, sometimes you need something sharp. Okay. This is a little kit we made. A little bushcraft kit here that was fun to make uh, if you ever watched any of our working with bones videos this is kind of stuff we do with the bones okay got a knife it's not too sharp a lot of these hides you don't want to use sharp stuff on a little flute scraping this here is metal that's this will all come into play you'll see how all this is used but Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the creek. I'm going to get my raw hide out, and uh, we're going to show you how to work that. All right, I got these hides in here that I've been, these are cut off from a deer head we done. So uh, these are, uh, been soaking in here for quite a while. Um, right now I'm going to take these out. As you can see, your hair should slip right out at this point. This should be real easy to come out. You should just be able to pull it out in your hand. Real simple. Okay. What I'm making with these is I'm making lashings for my for my series here of doing hides. I'm making lashings that I can tie my hides with. Okay. I've made this flashing beam. Um, this is kind of a portable flashing beam. You can do this in a while, you can lay it on logs, rocks, whatever you want to do. But I'm bringing my flashing beam with me. Okay. Got my kit that I showed you the video of. This is where something like this would come into play. I got a wedge cut on there. I'll just stand right on this. Kind of push these, push this hair right off of it. Okay, I'm gonna use this right here. Get around my edges. All right, got most of it off of here. Uh, it's kind of what you're after, just raw fur. That's why it's called raw hide. We're not gonna tan this hide or nothing, but uh, we just got work down. I'm gonna work the rest of these down, and then uh, I'm gonna cut me some saplings, and we're gonna head back. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some. Uh, green saplings back with me. Alright, got my hides here. Another thing you can do is keep this, keep some of that fur. You can make fishing lures out of that, insulation. There's all, there's all kinds of different uses for that. We'll cover some over this series. But uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I got these saplings. We got some bad weather outside, so what I'm gonna do is make hoops. What you wanna do is you cut your green saplings, just slowly start working them, little by little, till you can get them into a circle or teardrop pattern. All right, once you can get them into a pattern like that, what I'm gonna use for this is some bank line that I've had that I've used before. I'm going to recycle it and use it onto this. Tie a loop at the end of that bank line. 
or your cordage. That way you can retrieve it after this is done. Just slip my loop onto there, pull it. Cause you to be able to lash at it, okay? You're gonna start twisting it this way. You're just gonna make an X pattern around one. Just like that. Over, under, back around. Then you change it up again. Over, under, over, under. Then you're gonna change again. Over, under, over, under. Okay. When you feel that you have enough on there to secure that, just slide the one in right back through there. Half hitch it off. Okay. Just like that. That's what I made. I'm gonna turn all these into hoops and circles and teardrops, whatever. Alright. We uh manipulated that to uh get that shape right there. That's the shape we're after. Um this will be for our smaller stuff. You know, you'd use that for rabbit pelt, something like that. For your lashings. Um, I got some smaller pieces in there. That's what I use these for. Have the ability to manipulate wood into that right there. I have been in a situation. I don't know if it saved my life or not, but I'd like to think it did. But uh, I had to make a set of snowshoes and have that ability to save, you know, help me out anyways. But anyways, uh, next thing I'm going to do, I got a bigger piece. So for that one, I'm going to build a square square frame here. Uh, the way you're going to do that is now you're going to, how you tied your top there, now you're going to uh, tie your loop in the end like that. Okay. Slip that over one of your saplings. Pull it down. Okay. And you're just going to start working that around in your X pattern again. semi pretty well secure well, like I said I don't like to waste my cordage so what I'm gonna do is just make a loop twist it got my loop twist it put this in pull it down I'll take yes simple little knot right there and I'll leave that all right okay that's what you're after right there you just build a frame just like that right there that's all you're after. All right, got my frame ready to go. Got this fur right here, or this hide right here. You'll see a lot of hair and stuff on them. Don't worry about it, because when that dries, you'll be able to get that off there pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna cut this on this wood on cut the table here. But uh, first thing you're gonna start doing is you're gonna come around the edges. This is the way I'm gonna do it. You can get pretty close to the edge. I'm going to cut me a little slit in that. I'll take my, I put a needle on the end of that, just makes it easier to run through there. What you going to do? Go like that. Get her. That's where you can cinch it up pretty tight. I always run my first one right to the edge. Like that. Now I just work my way around, around this fur or hide.
just keep going all the way around this like that every so every few inches or so I'll put another slit and do it again So there you go. What you want, what you're after. Just keep this taut in here. You want this tight? That way, because it's going to try to dry, it's going to tighten up pretty good on you. Um, but you want to, you know, while it's green and wet, you want to get it taut itself. Uh, you just take that right there and hang it up. And uh, in a day or two, that should be dry. I'll do my hoop next. I'll show you how to do that. Just give me just a minute here. Okay, got our hoop here. This is a smaller one, um, skinnier piece here. That's why I use these on these hoops. Uh, other than like rabbit fur, squirrel fur, stuff like that, you can do on these hoops. Or you can make big hoop out of anything and do that kind of stuff. But for this, that's what I'm doing. Uh, we'll start out with a cut slit in there. Slit cut. On this. I'll start at the top of my teardrop here. Just tie it on right up here at the very top. right here I got a little slack in my line what I'm gonna do is just flip that around just like that okay and thing about these hoops is you just run down one side come right back up the other side just like that right there and I'll tie that on right there okay so that's what you got over the top down Around, back up to here. I'm gonna put another one on right here. Okay, so I got this on. You can see they're kind of loose yet, and this is a little wider than the other. What you can do at this point is take a stick, run it under here, right there in between them, and right there to that edge, just like that. Now, I'm gonna tie one side of this stick on, and I'll show you the purpose for that. But I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna tie one side. Okay, you can see, I got that side tied on. These are still pretty loose. So next thing I want to do, I want to set that down. When I push this hoop, it's going to tighten these up, okay? What that's going to do is cause this to flatten, you know, open up where it should be, and these will stay spaced out, and it'll all be taut. Just like that. Okay, you can see, pushing that over like that, and I really tighten that up. I mean, that's really that's pretty tight um, and then that stick across there helped open that up right there okay so that's that method that's that method okay now keep in mind this is not leather this is not buckskin what this is is raw hide you're not tanning it and there's nothing there's no nothing to it other than getting the hair to slip I don't even take the grain out of it I let the hair slip, string it up, dry it, you have rawhide. Uh, there's a lot of different uses for that. thing about hides is leathers, rawhides, stuff like that. I mean, it's an everyday part of our life. Today, my boots, my gloves, and my belt, and my wallet, that was all, that's all leather and hide. Um, we're going to do the next video is going to be on leather making uh, and buckskin, but uh, if you like our videos, you can like, share, comment, subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft. Um, you can join the group, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft Survival and Primitive Skills. But till the next one, that's it for this one.